Jim McGrath with the City's Park and Open Space Program, and we're here today at the Pittsfield Skate Plaza on East Street. And behind me, the guys from Rampage Skate Parks out of Connecticut are constructing the Phase 2 improvements here at the park. Phase 1 was built in 2011, and we had promised the biker and skater community in Pittsfield that we would undertake the Phase 2 build-out of this skate park. And we're so pleased that we have just a few weeks left on construction. We can't wait to welcome back all the bikers and skaters in Pittsfield to the best skate park in Western Massachusetts. Stay tuned, we're almost there. A few more weeks and we'll be open. Everyone, we're here at the Ashwiltuka Trail Extension, right off of Crane Avenue here in Pittsfield. This is the pathway, it'll be a 1.4 mile extension. Uh, from Crane Avenue all the way up to the Mall Road in Lanesboro. This new pathway has been under construction for several months and we anticipate be it being completed uh, in the spring of 2022. This will be a regional draw for sure. You know, now that we have the pathway coming into Pittsfield, uh, we have high hopes that we can continue to extend the trail through Pittsfield and into South County uh, and eventually the goal is to connect the trail into Connecticut. So we're here at Springside Park at the historic Springside House. This is a building that dates back to the 1850s and the city has been thoughtfully planning the restoration of this project uh, in this house for a number of years. We've recently completed the foundation work. We're getting into roof and window repair soon. The house has been completely stripped and repainted. And uh, within the next year or two, we'll get into the interior restoration of the building. What we hope is that this building can be a center of the community once again. It has a long and storied history in the city of Pittsfield, and we can't wait to see it refurbished back to its original glory days and welcome the community back uh, up into Springside Park. We're here at the West Side Riverway Park on Dewey Avenue, and this is the newest park in the city's park system. This is a passive park, meaning we won't see playgrounds here, we won't see ball fields here. But what we will see here are community events and uh, lots of river access and opportunity for education for this neighborhood. Um, this was a park that was designed and constructed with the idea that it would be a central location and gathering point for this neighborhood in the west side. We're really pleased that the construction came out great and we can't wait to welcome you all here to Dewey Avenue and the West Side Riverway Park. Well, Pittsfield, we heard you loud and clear. You wanted a dog park, so here it is. We're at Burbank Park, and this is the site of the new Pittsfield Dog Park. It's almost done in its construction. We've got just a few more weeks to go, and then we're gonna let everything uh, settle in here and establish. We'll be able to open this dog park in July. And it's gonna be really cool because it's gonna have two areas, one for big dogs, one for little dogs. There's a great big parking lot here. Plenty of space for your dogs to run around in this nice woodland setting. We're looking forward to seeing you and your dog here at the Pittsfield Dog Park real soon. Hey Jeff, it's Jim McGrath. I've got a, an extreme need from you. I locked, locked myself out of my vehicle, my uh, truck, 1503. And I'm right up at the dog park at Burbank.